Yo, what's up, everybody? It is your boy Slam, aka Mr. Different at TBLSounds.com. What is up? It's been a minute. Oh man, back, 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 back once again. So today I'm gonna be doing the um, my mixing workflow on how I mix my beats. So you guys been asking me, can I show you how I mix my beats? So I better do that. Also, I want to get get shout out to everybody. I reached 20,000 subscribers. Whoop de do, hoo hoo. I'm glad. <laughs> Thank you guys for you know supporting me. It happened really fast. And unexpectedly, and I do have the 20K uh, preset bundle coming out uh, later this week. So you ain't got to worry about that. Uh, happened so far, I went to prepare for it. So I'm probably going to make like a nice little preset bundle and a drum kit for free also. And then I got some new kits coming out, which I'm going to make a video for those later as well. So appreciate everybody for rocking with me for this long. Let's, you know, make next year, double it, triple it, whatever, and get more subscribers. Then get the reach even further than it is right now. So anyway, with that being said, let's talk about how I mix. So basically what I did, I picked just a random beat. And I, as you can see, I just turned everything back to normal. Um, it's loud as shit. <laughs> loud as hell, as you can see. And I'm going to go through and show you how I mix each individual sound and how I do my mixing process. And, you know, maybe you can learn something from it. Maybe you can't. So this might be a little long video like the um, mastering video. But, you know, this is what you got to ask for. So this is what I'm going to give you. So first off. I'm going to start off by getting my metering plug in. Now, remember I said that I usually use a metering plug. I'm using the Brainworks one right now. Uh, I just purchased this not too long ago, and I like this one. Um, it's very dope kit. Um, I like to use the K-Scale. So I use K-Scale, K, K scale. but I do have a free one for you guys. I will link you in it below. It is called, when it loads up, it's going to take a long time. It's called the K-Scale Meter. I forgot who it's by, but I will look it up and give you the link where you can download this. Like I said, you have the K12 and you have RMS. So usually I set it to K12 and RMS for root mean squared. And that's how I mix with it. So you want to, like I said, the main reason I use the K scale because you want to try to aim for zero when mixing. Like you don't, because that, that, that will give you negative 12 dB of headroom. And that's good enough for mastering. And, you know, if you can get it loud and you can make it loud enough towards the, um, at the, I guess, the, not the peak level, but the um, RMS is at negative uh, 12, then you're good for mastering. So I will definitely link you guys to this plugin for free, unless you want to buy the Brainworks one, which in my opinion is the better one. So here's the beat. You guys know it's the Wonder Girl type beat I made a while back. Nothing special, so let me turn it down a little bit. It's loud. <laughs> Okay, so now you know the beat. Let's find us a section to start with. We're gonna start with this section right here. Usually I go section by section. And first off, I will, I like to highlight everything and make a mix bus. Now how you do that, what I usually do is highlight, you highlight as many as you can, or you make a mix bus. So you go right here and you just call this mix bus two. Just for an example, you wanna highlight by holding control, highlight all the everything, even the mix bus, you right click and then you go to track routing and route to this track only. I already did that, so I'm gonna do it again. And that will route it to a track, and then if you right click and hit dock to left, it'll send it to the left over there. That's how I do my mix bus everything. Just That's just me and that's how I operate. So now everything's being routed into this right here. So as you see, everything's going through there. And that's why I can add my mixing plugins and all that good mess. So um, that's why I do that right there for you guys. All right, so now next I will grab every sound, every sound and bring it to zero or infinity. So we got nothing, as you hear. And then I will start bringing everything up one by one, watching my levels. So here I go. And I'll explain, you know, what I did to the sounds to get what they sound like and all that good stuff. So uh, we'll start with the serum patch. Now, I do recommend that you turn your headphones up a little bit to a good level. Um, not too loud, not too low, but you want a good level because, like I said, everything's going to sound low and you need to have a good good gain on your headphones or your speakers or whatever in order to hear this. And then I say, oh, and I say, I'm just bringing it up to ear. At, at this point, I'm just doing it to ear. So I'm just doing it to where it sounds good to me at first, and then I go back and adjust based off my meter. So then we just move to the next sound.
Okay, you see now, you see everything's starting to build up now and the levels are going up because, you know, the more sound you have going in, the more sound source you have, the more the level goes up. So you're watching that now. And you see we're still pretty pretty well um, under, you know, the zero. But like I said, we want to get close we can to zero. But once I start bringing in more percussive instruments, you'll see it get closer and closer to zero. So now I'm going to do the kick drum at 808s because I always like to mix my kick drum at 808 last just because. Okay, so now I'm creeping up, really getting close to zero. Now I go through and I do my panning and how I want to pan my stuff. So now I go to the stuff that I'm going to pan, Use, usually the sounds that are similar to each other and the sounds that are kind of like the same chords or same like same melody. I like to pan them. So I'm just going to, I know these hi-hats right here. It doesn't really, it doesn't matter which way you go with them. It, it just, you know, I don't really care. It, just whatever sounds best in your ear. You know, I like to go between 25 and 50 percent panning left or right, not 100 percent. That's just too much. Let's say let's go to I know these two sounds. Right to the left a little bit. Okay, that go between stereo fields. So I ain't gotta worry about that. And just take that a little bit. I'm going to make some fine tune adjustments. So now what I go through, I go through and listen to all my sounds and make sure, you know, I got every sound to be heard, not sounds not too loud and all that good mess. So this is where I get more detail before I go to the, my next process, which is checking in mono. So now we want to, like I said, I'm not going through showing you what I put on each individual um, channel because I did do the beat breakdown, which explained that. So like I said, I'm most, mostly just showing you the mixing process of level matching and everything and gain stage and everything. at this point you're just going through listening to make sure everything sounds pretty good everything can be heard you know all your sounds are being heard everything that way and once you got that like i said i think this is a very good kind of level right here i'm going to take this right click i'm gonna hold uh control highlight everything and i'm gonna bring them closer to um zero i want the i want the uh rms to be zero meaning the overall average volume through the whole song to be at zero so we're gonna bring them all up at once until it's at zero so Right, and see that the middle one right there is the RMS. That's like the constant volume right under zero. That's what we want. Now, if we switch over to the, the regular metering that you all are used to, standard, we'll see that we're right at negative 12 dB. And we 
still have about negative 12 dB of headroom too, which is really good. So that's that. And now I like to do my checking in mono. So I will go to here and add my penumbrum, where it's called. Here we go. And I will change it to mono and I will listen to everything to see what sticks out to me too much. Whatever sticks out to me too much or anything like that and make some adjustments. So let's do that. there and then I think I got one more sound that comes in right here that we need to mix in so And the main thing is you're going to have to listen to it a couple of times before it is a perfect mix. But at the end of the day, if you do it this way, you will have a lot of headroom. You'll have about 12 dB or more, if depending on what K scale you choose. You choose K14 for 14 dB or K20 for 20 dB. And, you know, you'll have a lot of room to master it. It'll be, so, I mean, you can pretty much push it pretty loud. As you can hear, it's still a pretty loud mix, even though, you know, it's, like I said, you see these levels real low. So that's just my process of mixing and how I mix. I, I, like I said, I always say mix low. That's what I mean right there. And that's my whole process on mixing and panning and what I do in between. I like say gave you a little bit of a live example of that. You know, um, like I said, my mixing process is not the most craziest or most, um, you know, like I do crazy stuff or anything. That I do, keep it very simple because at the end of the day, if your sounds are selected really good, then the mixing process itself is like easy as hell and doesn't take no time at all. So yeah, that's how I mix, you know, that's just how I mix my beats and everything like that. I just pretty much take everything down, rat them to one uh, bus. Then I um, go back through it one by one, bring them up and then boom, that's it. And then I get to the master phase. I already made a video about mastering, which was, you guys can watch that and see how to master. And you know, we got, but yeah, if you got any more questions about, you know, what I did or anything else, you know, you got any, any suggestions or anything like that, or you want to see any other tricks or anything like that, I would be happy to show you guys that in another video, like always, because you know who it is. It's your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different. Like I said, I'm glad you guys are still here and still sticking around. And for all the new people, I'm glad you're here too. So with that being said, we're going to keep on moving, keep moving forward, keep doing good things, and just keep on making what we do. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.